Okay, I got tired of not being center screen. Hello, my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is a one month update on the Target mod. Alright guys, so today I'm doing a one month update on the Target mod atomizer combo by vape resso now i really like this mod at first because it kind of looks like the old joysticks from the games you guys told me like duck hunt and stuff like that's just kind of like nostalgic brings me back and i honestly am trying to think of anything negative to say about this like, like i have had such a great experience with this mod overall the mod has such a strong durable like it's made durably it's amazing i like the fire button like that like at first i thought that was kind of weird kind of cool but kind of weird but it's just it, i love the way that sits and oh my god the atomizer oh my god no leaking this is the first atomizer in a very long time that i have had no leaking whatsoever even if i leave it full of e-liquid and leave it for a day or two it doesn't i have not had any leaking and that's so awesome and the flavor the flavor is so pure and clean, and it's all to do with those C-cell coils. They are so awesome. I was thinking about doing a more in-depth video of the coils to explain to people since they're the new ceramic type of coils, and I just, I absolutely love, like, let's just, I need to have a vape. <laughs> Enough rambling. Now, I found myself with this particular mod using it at um, a halfway open airflow, and the paint, okay, I'm going to be, like, all over with this review because I didn't actually, like, write any bullet points down like I usually do so I'm just like trying to remember off the top of my head I have had no issues and I've just thrown this thing in my purse in the car no paint issues whatsoever loving that no spit back that's amazing too no leaking and no spit back and great flavor like th they literally that's what they marketed this this new coil system towards and that's exactly what it gave me no issues whatsoever I would like to see, however, I mean, maybe they do make them, but I wasn't sent the .5 coils. I would like a lower ohm coil just to see how it does. Because you can tell the cloud difference between like a .5 and a .9, which is what these are. But even though it doesn't go as low as a .5, at least this one is obviously, it still is producing a great amount of vapor. and. More so because I'm not like a cloud chaser, so yeah, the, the big clouds are awesome. But when I vape something, I am looking more for flavor. So I guess I'm a flavor chaser. And this is the one of the cleanest, purest tasting flavors that I have ever had the joy to try. I've had only three flavors in here though because I keep, I kind of keep to the same flavors. <laughs> Pounded by Bonsai Vapor, Milk Plus, Rusty Nails by Rasta Vapor. I kind of keep to the same flavors. I have probably 10, and that's actually quite a bit. Like, that's maybe, maybe not 10, but 10 that I could probably think of off the top of my head that I really, really love. And so, it is done amazing. Like, I wish this coil was in my Kanger knee box because... Oh my god, I mean, I love my Kangaroo Knee Box, it produces great flavor, but if this was in that, then I would be, that's like my perfect setup, if I can like combine different parts of different vapes together, but anyways, I'm really excited. These are available in purple and pink, they're not available yet, I didn't realize that in my first video for this, I thought they were already available, but they're not available yet, but they will be, and I'm definitely getting the pink one because it's like not a normal, like, on the market pink, it's a new type of pink, like metallic-y and it looks so cute and the purple is beautiful as well but I'm more I lean more towards pink hence the hair which is fading girl no so this also advertises that it has self-cleaning so if you burn the vape it's supposed to if you set it back down to the right settings it's supposed to clean itself now I haven't tested this out because I was like don't want to ruin the coil because I don't have another one or I do but it's a temperature control coil and I don't like want to go there right now so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up and vape it Ooh, it's gonna be gross and then turn it back down and see if it fixes the flavor I don't know we'll see we're gonna do it right now this is at a way higher wattage range than recommended oh god this might be gross
mm, it's not bad yet. I can almost taste. So we'll go a little bit higher. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. And on camera nonetheless. Okay, we're gonna go five watts higher. <laughs> and see, oh god. What? It's still, hang on. Oh my god. I turned this up 10 watts above the recommended wattage range and it's producing hella clouds and the flavor is still okay. I can taste a little bit of Bernie and I'm like, I don't want to go any higher. This is already 10 watts too high for the recommended wattage range, but you just see those clouds? Holy crap. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'll go five more higher. But that's all I'm, I can't, like, I am so scared for a nasty, just choky burn hit. Oof. Still okay, still on the verge of burning, but you guys, I have this set 15 watts higher than the recommended watch rate. Okay, fine, we'll go to 20. Like, fuck it. Oh God, why is this? It's like almost performing better, like, cause I like the cloud. The flavor's still all right. I can kind of sense the little bit of burning, but maybe that's like the point. That's Maybe that's what they meant by the self-cleaning, but I thought you had to good, put it back down to its regular wattage range to make it self-clean. I don't know, we'll go. Okay, oh my God. 20 watts above recommended wattage range. Do not try this at home, people. That should be a given. Okay. There it was. I knew it. I could, I smelled it. Okay, so let me take it back down to its recommended wattage range and we'll see how it tastes, right? That's how it's done, right? That's the whole self-cleaning, hopefully. Come on, Jesus. Okay, back down to recommended wattage range. Maybe, maybe you can use this out of the wattage range. I don't know, but like, do it at your own risk. I am not recommending you vape it. 20 watts above its recommended range, all right? Can we make that clear right now? And it's perfect. Flavor is perfect. Mm. Flavor was never really bad. I could just, I could taste the burnt. It's fine. I mean, I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. I am so surprised. I just vaped a 20 watts above what you're supposed to. It's a 0.9 coil. It seems to be per performing even better than before I took it higher. What? I love it. I See, I told you guys, I I don't have any complaints about this mod. It's, it just does everything it's supposed to and it does it great. Like, if you have some complaints about it, please share with me in the comments below. If you love it, share with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys because I have had no issues. Holy crap. Can you guys tell, like, from the beginning of the video when I was vaping it in the recommended wattage range, then I took it up, and then I took it back down, and now it seems to be performing even better with even more cloud. That is amazing. I just fell in even more love with this device. I thought I liked it before this video, and I like it even more now. Oh, two thumbs way up, 10 out of 10 stars. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 vapors who fuck up their vapes who can't fuck up their vapes now because this thing is awesome. Like, you can't, you can't fuck it up. Vape it above its wattage range and it still works just fine. But please let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had any problems, if you have it. And for those of you who want a pink and purple version, it is coming soon. Right now they only have this version and I believe a silver version, a black version, and maybe a different type of, like I think there's two different black versions, like a matte and a pearl. I could be wrong though. I didn't look at the brochure before I started this video. <laughs> I, I, I only have this one, so. This is great. This is great. I am so happy. This is probably like one of the best one month updates I've ever had because I'm just like, I love the mod and then it even surprises me in the one month update. Uh, 
That is it for today's video. I will put a link below where you can check this out for yourself if you're interested in it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more views. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like eLiquids mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos that aren't vaping related. So if you want to see more of me that doesn't have to do with vaping, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. Well, this is seriously a first. A first time for me going in a one month review and then coming out loving the mod even more. <laughs> oh, way to go, Vape Bresso. Round of applause for you. First time for everything. <laughs>